Hi, this is your host, Sapna Bhartia, and welcome to TFR Let's Talk. Noopcore is lowering the barrier of entry, allowing enterprises to quickly go to the market without having to invest both time and dollars in building infrastructure that they need for their services. Uh, Uncork is one of the pioneers of no-code enterprise application platform that helps large companies build, deploy, and manage complex applications without writing a single line of code. To talk about not only the company, but also the whole no-code landscape. And today we have with us Ken Gavranovic, Head of Platform Strategy Engineering, DevOps, and Solutions at Uncork. Ken, it's great to have you on the show. So no, thank you for having me on the show. I'm so excited to talk about no code and digital transformation and kind of what we're seeing enterprises um, doing in, in, a, in a very challenging environment. Let's just start with some of the basics, which is let's talk about the company. Uh, first of all, what do you folks do? And if I look at your own career, what potential did you see in the company that you decided to join it? No, I think that's a good question. So I guess a little, a little background is, you know, as, as you mentioned, I'm at Uncork and, and I kind of run three areas of the, of the platform. So it's a no-code platform. I run the engineering teams that actually build the platform, the DevOps teams that really operate and automate that deployment for our customers. And then finally, I have a team, um, so we call them solutioneers, where we're actually using our own platform to extend the functionality of the platform. Uh, prior to joining Uncork, I ran product and engineering for a company called New Relic that you may have be familiar with. Uh, the globally, you know, I think probably 30, I, I, I don't know, don't quote me on the stats, but 30, maybe 30, 40% of the internet's monitored from an observability perspective. And, and prior to that, um, I was at a company called Cox, maybe you've heard of Dealer Track, Kelly Blue Book, Auto Trader, I ran the digital systems. And, and I've been in this since the beginning. So back in the day, I started a company, it's still around called web.com when cloud computing really wasn't even a thing. So uh, the thing that really excited me about Uncork, I always looked at, you know, the first thing is culture, right? You wanna join a company that uh, that has a purposeful culture. And so that's something that attracted me to Uncork. You know, secondly, you want a leadership team that, that's got great ideas. You wanna be in the right space at the right time um, and, and, and have a huge opportunity where the, the only thing holding you back from success is really execution. And that's what really attracted me to Uncork, where we've already got tremendous traction with companies like uh, BlackRock, Goldman, you know, multiple states, Liberty. We're helping states actually roll out rent relief. It's it's really neat to be in, in a company where not only do you help some of the largest financial and insurance institutions around the world go faster, but you can help you know, states deliver like very much needed resources like rent relief where you've got renters and the government's trying to help them. We can also help the states do that. So it's, it's a really, really exciting opportunity here. If I'm not wrong, uh, Uncork is around like four years old. If I ask you what impact the company has made on the industrial ecosystem where you folks are helping, you know, especially after the pandemic, what we have seen is that companies need to have their digital transformation story in place. They need to have their cloud story in place. But moving to cloud or to digitally transform your company, it's a lot of work. You have to write a lot of code. You have to build, worry about the whole infrastructure. So talk about the direct impact Uncork has had on the industry to help them move faster. If you think about digital transformation or companies, and even with the pandemic, I think that was a really spot on point, companies faster than ever have to take their customer request, that idea, what does a customer want, and put it in production. And the details of multi-cloud, the details of how you do it, companies just need to have that speed. And so what's really nice, and again, Uncork's been around for four years, they've been able to help, whether it be the largest institutions, BlackRock, Goldman, you know, Chicago, multiple states, principal, you know, MMC, you know, so anything from healthcare to financial to insurance, but also, as I mentioned before, what I get even personally excited about is helping states do things like rent relief, where we've got people that simply can't pay their rent and the government's put aside dollars, but you have to have systems that can quickly address that. So not only can we help, you know, again, some of our largest financial institution insurance, but we can help states move fast. And so those are really kind of exciting things that we're doing right now successfully. And once again, uh, you, you gave a lot of examples. If I ask you off, you know, from purely technical point, if you can just say, hey, you know, this is the impact Uncork had on the developer's life of these companies, that this is this is the difference they noticed ever since Uncork came into existence. That's what I, that's the answer I'm looking at. So I think there's a couple of different perspectives. There's uh, from a developer's perspective, from a business perspective, 
from a developer's perspective, if you think about it, you get to go right into problem solving. You know, my background is a developer, so I've always been interested in customer problems and what is the customer experiencing and how can I help solve that problem? Well, if you think about it as a developer, maybe you have to think about, well, how much cloud? How are we going to think about security? How are we going to do, you know, all of the things you need to deliver a modern enterprise application? With Uncork, you, you don't have to do anything. We give you tools, building blocks, no code building blocks, where you can go straight from that business problem into a working enterprise secure application um, in, in days. And so what we're seeing customers, something that might've taken a year or six months or two years to complete, you can do it in, in three months. And even from a you know accessibility perspective, we're seeing a developer almost move you know three to ten times faster in the amount of quality code and really problem solving that they can deliver. And that's exciting to the developer because we always like to solve problems. And that's exciting to the business because that actually helps them move forward quicker. When you're explaining that, and I look at developers, they are no different than artists. You know, when if you're a painter or a writer. You don't spend hours and days, of course, some of us get obsessed. And you know, we were talking before the recording that we were talking about the cameras. They don't focus on what kind of shoes or what kind of guitar or what kind of, you know, or chef doesn't spend time in finding the right knife, you know. They have to focus on their art. Why do we add all these complexities in the work or pipeline of a developer? So making it easier for them so they can focus on their actual job. We need to change the whole culture there. So I think low code, no code does play a role there. Now, if I ask Ask you what is the difference between low code and no code? If you can explain a bit. Well, I, I think it's a good question. I, I think that low code still code. Like to me, you have legacy. The moment you write code or you use an API or any kind of low code solution, at some point you've got to scan it again to make sure it's secure. You got to make sure it's not outdated. You've got to make sure that uh, when you make changes, hopefully somebody understands how that code was documented with with no code in the platform that we deploy, all of that's built into the platform. So you, if you built an object, you've got, build, got future proof built into it. You don't have to worry about, is this, you know, um, yesterday Angular was exciting. Today it's React, tomorrow it's something else. Uncork will automatically adjust whatever that front is. You don't, it doesn't impact your no code application. You get the modern, you get the security, without the maintenance that you typically have in low code or code solutions. If, if you just look at the, the whole trajectory of the way we build, uh, deploy software, open source changed a lot of things. They, it democratized software. Cloud took it to the next step where you don't have to worry about a lot of infrastructure thing. Where does no code fit into this whole journey and you know trajectory? Whereas we uh, discussed earlier, and you alluded to the fact also, so that developers can quickly address the business problem and not have to worry about all the infrastructural or application problems. So talk about the role that no code is playing in this evolution of just the way we build and write and deploy software. Well, I think what's nice about no code, like to me, you know, companies that talk about citizen developers, I don't know if that's really a, a true promise, but I do think with no code, if you have a developer mindset, so it doesn't mean that you've been necessarily a developer your whole life, but you have a developer mindset, you can go in and whether you're an experienced three year, 10 year, 20 year veteran, or someone that thinks like a developer and understand the constructs of development, you can go in there and understand the business problem and deliver enterprise grade working applications in minutes. And, you know, I'm going to ask, you know, I, I know we've got Mark on the call. Mark, if we can get like a small like video and again, you can use it or not. Love to just demonstrate how in literally minutes you can build a enterprise grade application. And this is, you know, just a small sample. We see people I, I really enjoy a lot of times I get to talk to some of our customers, developers, and they get so excited where they were able to take a project that everybody said it's going to take two years and literally deploy it to production in months. So they're excited. They look great in the company and the company's excited because that idea and that innovation cycle, that business agility that all enterprises are looking for um, is, is really working in a demonstrated way. If I ask you, how do you see the evolution and adoption of no code? What role it will be playing in future? Here's what I believe. And this is one of the reasons why I joined the company. I think if you look at most enterprise applications, 70 to 80% of them is really building code that looks just like another company's 
code base. They're solving the exact same problems, but they're spending resources to build it again and again and again. And so with no code, we think that there's a subset of applications. You know, I think I think I saw some stat there's going to be like 500 million applications built in the next X amount of years. But we and I personally believe that a, a large percentage of those are going to be built on no code. I think that companies are going to say for a set of our applications, this is what we're going to do because we're lowering the barrier. Now we can have anybody that has a developer mindset build it. Um, we can go faster and we've got security maintenance already built in and we don't have legacy because if you think about it when you're running a budget how much of your budget spent maintaining the applications that you're not even ap actively building on you don't have to do any of that no code and that's and, and, and again i can't mention all the company names i have to go talk to to the team of who i can mention but you know i talk to customers all the time some of the brands the biggest brands in the world and i'm seeing them increasingly every day embraces as a new paradigm on how they're thinking about building their enterprise software. If I ask you, who would you consider your direct competitors and what sets you apart from them? Well, it's always a question of, about competitors. I'll just say from, from, from my, for myself, and one of the reasons why I joined the company is um, we, we compete with both everyone and no one, yeah. right? Um, there's code, there's low code, but in the same sense, the platform that's been built, you know, I think about this, this application, many SaaS solutions are built starting with SMBs and very simple applications. This company from day one was built for highly complex, highly secure enterprise applications. The whole leadership team came from some of the biggest companies across the globe. And, and I think we're really uniquely positioned. So I would say, who are we competing with? everyone um but in a way i also think that we're unique in the platform and the way and the thought leadership that we've built into the platform from day one because not every startup goes straight and wins some of the biggest brands globally and that's what we do every day ken thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about not only of course the company your own journey and why you joined the company and give us a very good insight into uh, why uh, no code is becoming popular, why enterprises are embracing it. And I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you for your time today. Yeah, I'd love to do it. Thanks for having me. Have a great day.